I bought this Jeep used that already had a lift kit, already had 35s on it, already had most of the stuff done to it I wanted to do to a Jeep if I owned it. This thing has been nothing but troubles from day one. Bad thing about buying a used Jeep, you don't know if you're buying someone else's troubles or not, and I must have been buying someone else's troubles. Anyways, death wobble on the front end, I bought all new polyurethane bushings to replace the rubber bushings. And I found the root cause of the problem. Thought I'd show you. This is my temporary fix. You can see there's a couple extra washers on this nut right here. And let me get this nut out, bowed out. And I'll show you what the problem of the death wobble was because something you don't really ever hear anybody talk about that's having death wobble problems. And I think it's probably going to be relatively a common issue. More common than what people let on it to be. Well, I'm going to need both hands, so I'll be right back after I get this nut off. I hope you'll be able to see this in the video. If I can get it to focus. Anyways, what I'm getting at is that You can kind of see there that whoever put the lift kit in either cross-threaded the lower control arm bolt or they use an impact wrench and put it on way too tight. I'm going to go with cross-thread because the nut was only down to about where the threads get burgered up. Anyways, you can get new replacement bolts. And I'll leave a link to those in the description. These are factory replacements. The only difference is these actually have a service nipple on them where you can lubricate. You can see a little hole right there so it will allow you to grease that front bushing. I don't think I'd ever grease that. I think these are mostly made for the polyurethane bushings I'm going to be putting on here soon. And I'll also leave a link to the polyurethane bushings that fit a... Uh, I have a 2011, I believe it's, I don't remember the years, I think it's like 2008 through 2017 or something like that. Might fit other years too, but anyways, I'm going to be putting the bushings in later. I've only got time to replace this one bolt. I wanted to get it replaced because basically what happened where this was stripped, the nut had backed off and I could literally take and turn this and this while it was installed with my fingers and I, it wouldn't tighten up anymore so basically I stuck these two washers on there stuck the nut back on it until the new parts come in but anyways I wanted to bring this up if you got a death wobble in your Jeep you need to check all of your control arm bolts and make sure they're torqued properly the uppers, I believe, are 85 foot-pounds. The lowers are 125 foot-pounds in the front. All four of the rear are 125 foot-pounds. So anyways, I'm going to get this put back together, and I'll show you that once it's done. All fixed and all torqued to specs. I'm going to go ahead and check these other ones, the lowers and the uppers. And... Uh, those bolts they come in sets of two i guess you could probably order them individually but i bought them uh they come in a set of two so i got a spare and then i got the one i took off that would be like an emergency use one but anyways thought i'd bring that up just to show you you want to make sure that your bolts are all tight and that they are not stripped and uh hope that will help you fix your death wobble problem Probably going to have an upcoming video on installing these polyurethane front end bushings on a Jeep JK. If uh, you like this video, go ahead and hit the like. Don't forget to hit subscribe. I'm all the time doing DIY, self-sufficient, frugal, homesteading stuff. Probably the only person you know of carries around a 50-pound bag of chicken feed in their Jeep.